your calendar because it sure doesn't feel like early October out there today. Meteorologist Kate Bylow is here with a look at how long this sunny stretch will stick around. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, it was a beautiful day outside today, and the sunshine will be with us into the weekend, but temperatures are a little bit up and down. The rest of the work week not going to be quite as warm as today has been. You can see after a lot of sunshine for almost the whole day now, clouds have started to move in, and this is as a cold front is moving through the region. However, it's not producing much beyond cloud cover and a gusty wind as it moves through. You can see that cooler air already starting to migrate south. You can see the green starting to permeate into our region. It's in the 60s in Allentown and Mount Pocono. Meantime, still a warm 76 in Philadelphia, 75 in Cheswold, 74 in Millville. So the cooler air starting to push in. We do have some gusty winds, and you can really see where the front is. It's just between Reading and Philadelphia because winds are out of the northwest, 24 miles an hour howling behind the front in Reading. But in Philadelphia, it's still a southwest wind out ahead of the front at 17 miles an hour. So it's windy for everyone, but our front coming through this evening, and it is going to kick in some cooler, drier air for the end of the week. So again, our cold front almost through. Showers are still off to the north. They're really not popping up much in our area. We do have a couple of sprinkles over portions of Mercer County into Lower Bucks right now. Nothing major, and these will be clearing quickly, and skies clearing tonight as well. No more clouds. 52 degrees, breezy, but it's a different wind. Northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour, so a bit of a chilly start to tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is a gorgeous October day, but it is about 10 degrees cooler than today. So if you didn't need a jacket today, you may want to have it on standby tomorrow. 67 will be our high. Sunny, still breezy, northwest wind at 10 to 15. Let's talk about Hurricane Delta now. Here's some good news. Hurricane Delta has weakened to a Category 1. Generally, when hurricanes move across land or have any interaction with land, they tend to weaken. But it is a very the environment over the Gulf of Mexico, I should say, is very conducive to further strengthening of Delta. There's warm water. There's not a lot of wind shear. So we do expect this to re-strengthen into a Category 2 and then perhaps back to a Category 3. Now, the question is, will it be a 2 or 3 when it makes landfall? It really doesn't matter if it's a strong 2 or a weak 3. The impacts will be the same. It's going to come on shore Friday night throughout the western or mid-coast of Louisiana with very, very strong winds. Dangerous storm surge, especially throughout the low lying areas here, the bayous of southern Louisiana, and also incredibly heavy rainfall up to 10 inches in some spots. And then Delta will weaken quickly, but you can see the remnant low. This is by Sunday afternoon starting to move into the Ohio Valley. So moisture will come along with it. Clouds and showers will precede that storm, and we'll see them by Sunday. So Hurricane Delta, again, re strengthening is likely. It is expected to return to Cat 3 status by tomorrow morning. Landfall Friday. Friday night along the Louisiana coast, fourth Gulf Coast landfall of the season. The Gulf Coast has really gotten hit hard, and you can see the latest spaghetti models. A better consensus than we had yesterday, especially about the path once the storm comes on shore. Most take it right through the Ohio Valley, and you can see by Sunday, clouds and showers for us. By Monday, periods of rain appear to be likely, although it doesn't look like we'll get enough rain for flooding to become a concern. So that is good news. Mainly beneficial rain expected from Delta for us. Thursday and Friday, 60s with sunshine. It's a warmer start to the weekend. Then we deal with Delta's rain Sunday into Monday. A front brings more showers Tuesday. Looks like we'll clear it out again by next Wednesday. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate. Thank you.